and watch God bring it to you. Welcome into our broadcast of You Are Enough. It's so good to be here with you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like and share our videos for us. And don't forget to jump over to our Instagram page at Nikki G. McCray. Thank all of you for what you do on our channel. Thank you for supporting and purchasing our products. Thank you all so much for your support, your prayers that you give us. We're so grateful. We are praying for you. We love you over here, family. I want you to understand this about God. Write the vision down. You've been commanded to write down the vision that you've been shown. You have been commanded to write down the dreams that God has shown you. Why did Habakkuk tell? Why did God tell Habakkuk to write the vision down and make it plain? You have to write down the vision. You have to write down the dream because it's going to speak. In the end, it's going to speak. It's not going to lie. It's just for an appointed time. It's for an appointed season. It may not come when you want it, but it's going to come. And it's going to be right on time. The blessing is going to come right on time. The miracle is going to come right on time. God is never late. He doesn't work according to our calendar. He doesn't work according to our timing. It's called divine timing. It's his timing. He's going to perfect you. He's going to complete you. He's going to make you whole while you are waiting for the vision to come to pass. Write down your vision. Write down your goals. Write down your dreams and make it plain. That vision is surely going to speak. The vision that you've been shown is not going to lie. It's not a lie what, you, what you've been shown. It's not a lie. Believe the vision. Believe the dream that you have been shown. Because you're going to need it whenever you get in a really tight spot in your life. You're going to need the vision. You're going to need the dream. So write it. Read it. And run with it. Because in the end, it's going to bring you so much hope, the vision that you've been shown, that dream that you've been shown. God is going to bring things to you as you write down your dreams and as you write down your vision, God is going to bring this stuff to you. You're not going to have to run down, run it down. You're not going to have to chase it. You're not going to have to do that because God is going to bring it to you. God knows what miracle you need. He knows what breakthrough you need. He knows how long you've been praying. He knows how long you've been waiting. He knows this. Nothing just happens. Nothing. Nothing just happens. Nothing. You're going to stumble into your next miracle. You're going to stumble into your next breakthrough. You're going to stumble right into your next opportunity. You're going to stumble into it. Because God is going to order your stumbling. God is going to order your trips. When the enemy tries to trip you up, to cause you to fail, to cause you to stumble, God is ordering your trips. God is ordering your stumbles. And he's going to lead you right to the place where you're going to gain the most fruit out of your life. Write things down. And God is going to bring it to you. It's just like when you pray, when you go before the Lord and you pray and you're asking God for things, you're asking God and believing him to manifest his will, his promises, the covenant in your life. You have to believe it and you have to be specific whenever you pray. Be very precise in your prayers. God was very precise and he was very persistent whenever he began to form the world and whenever he began to create what he wanted to create, he was very specific. Be very specific in your prayer. Don't ask God just for something exactly how you want it. I want you to ask God exactly how you want it. Whatever it is, according to the word of God, ask him for what it is that you do want without no hesitation, without any reservation. Write the things down. Writing is very powerful because you're going to be able to go back and reread it because when it manifests in your life, God is going to show you what you wrote down 
It's going to happen. It's going to happen. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. If you can think it, if you can believe it, then you speak it. They all work hand in hand. It all works together. I'm telling you without a shadow of a doubt, you're going to stumble into something that you didn't think that God will be able to do for you. But nothing just happens. Nothing in your life has just happened. God has been ordering your steps this entire time. And he's been ordering people away from you this entire time. God knows what he's doing. I want you to trust. I want you to remain hopeful. I want you to remain steadfast. And I pray that you will remain fervent and hot and heated in your prayer, knowing that God is going to come through for you. Why wouldn't he come through for you? Just because you're going through a test, just because you're going through a trial, it doesn't mean that God is not going to come through for you. God is surely going to come through for you. Write this stuff down. Write it down. The vision, the dreams. Write these things down and watch God bring these things to you. You got to believe it. If you can believe it, you can have it. If you could just believe, oh, ye of little faith. If you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you can speak to the mountain and it shall be removed and it'll be cast into the sea. I want you to affirm, I have mustard seed faith. You know how small a mustard seed is? You only need a little bit of faith. And God is going to use your little faith to do something so big. It's going to be so gigantic. It's going to be so enormous, enormous what God is going to do for you. God has been dealing with you in your dream state. He's been dealing with you with dreams. He's been dealing with you with, with vision. So write it down. Just like he told Habakkuk. Write the vision down and make it plain. Because you're going to go back and read what God has shown you to understand that it's for an appointed time. God has a set time to bless you. God has a set and appointed time to deliver you. God has a set and appointed time to give you your miracle, your breakthroughs. He has a set and appointed time to place you where you're desiring to be. God has a time that is called divine timing to get you up out of the downhill of life. He has a set time to get you out of this place. You're going to come out. You're going to come all the way out. It doesn't matter what the enemy tells you. That's what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to lie to you. And you're supposed to know that he's a deceiver. You're supposed to know that he's a liar. You're supposed to never believe anything that he tells you, family of God. And you're supposed to believe and stand on what the word says. That God said, I am going to deliver you. I am the God of your forefathers. As I was with Moses, so shall God be with you. As God was with Abraham, God is going to be with you. Let the spirit of Elijah rest upon you in these last days. The fire of the Holy Spirit is what's going to get you through this mess that you might be in. It's too big for you. It's too difficult for you. It's too hard for you. But God says, give it to me. It is just right for me. Too big for you. God said, but it's just right for me. Write the vision down and make it plain. God is asking you to do this. And watch God bring in these things for you. Don't set a time for it to come to pass. Just believe. Every day, just believe. Stay focused on where you're going. Stay focused on what God is doing for you in your life. Don't look back on the things of the past. Don't look back on the people of the past. Take the lessons with you and move forward. There is nothing behind you but a lesson. Your blessings are ahead of you. Your breakthroughs and your miracles and your opportunities. Life is waiting on you. Life is waiting on you. Get your feet back into life. Get back into the game of life, family. You are a winner. It's going to happen for you. You're going to stumble right into this next miracle. You're going to stumble right into this next breakthrough. You're going to stumble right into this next opportunity. You are. 
The enemy tried to cause you to stumble and fail. But God said, I'm going to direct your path. I'm going to make it plain. God is going to go before you and make every crooked place straight. You may be stumbling, but you're not going to fall. Because the strong hand of God is going to lift you up. Thank you for tuning in to our broadcast of You Are Enough. It's such a pleasure to come into your homes to enlighten you, to encourage you. If you appreciate what we do here on our channel, continue to subscribe, like, and share our videos. Hit that like button because it gives us an opportunity to reach more souls for God's kingdom. There are so many people who really need to hear our messages. So let's be kind enough to share them. To those of you who are asking how to sow into our ministry, our cash app is there. If the Holy Spirit leads you, if the Holy Spirit leads you, my goodness. And you can also do a seed by purchasing our products. You can also plant a seed by praying for us, loving us the way that you all do, encouraging us the way that you do. You can plant a seed in ministry by supporting our book, Becoming a Master of Divine Consciousness. You have so many great things to look forward to. If you didn't, the enemy wouldn't fight you so hard. If your future was not bright, the enemy would never try to dim your light. Don't allow the enemy to dim your light. Don't be afraid to stand up and speak out. Don't be afraid to do it. The enemy wanted to silence you, and the enemy always wants you to speak against a prophetic word that God gave. The enemy wants you to speak against the vision that you've been shown because he wants you to be afraid. He wants you to doubt it. Don't doubt what God has shown you. Believe it and write it down because I'm telling you, it's going to come to pass. What God has shown you, and you don't have to beg God to bring it to pass. If God showed you something, trust me, family, it's going to come to pass. Hang on. Hold on. Your breakthrough is coming. Your change is coming. You may not know when. You may not know how. You just need to know that it's going to come. It's going to come. As surely as there is a heaven. As surely as there are seasons in our natural world. As sure as there is night and day, your breakthrough and your miracle and your change is upon you. It is. This is why you feel so much turbulence in your life because of the change that you're going through with. You're going through so many chaotic experiences, so many traumatic experiences. That's because your change is upon you. No weapon formed against you will ever prosper. And every tongue that rises against you, you are the one that's going to condemn it. You are. Stand in your truth. Stand in your power. Do what God has called you to do. Do it with boldness. Do it with passion. And can care less, family, of the opinions of other people. Because their opinions where you are concerned. And what God has spoken over your life, it just not, does not matter. It just doesn't matter matter because family nothing that people will be able to do but be able to stop what God is doing it's too late that will is turning and it's turning in your favor God bless you we'll talk later bye-bye